bloodshed. This has been witnessed through murders, road accidents, terror attacks, clashes, and insecurity. The Lord showed me that he has come down into the nation of Kenya with great glory and great blessings a thing that he has never done ever before in the entire world. But when he came down, he could not land because of youthness in our life. Kenya's foundation in the last 57 years has been rooted in evil. Our history has been marked by idolatry, corruption, deception, witchcraft, bloodshed, sexual immorality, oppression, and stealing in the land. These evils have given a foothold to the Queen of Heaven, who in turn has captured many and kept many others in bondage of sin, resulting in destruction and judgment. Shaving blood, sexual immorality, corruption in the nation, oppressing others, stealing in the land, and witchcraft. In 2009, God gave me a prophetic word to bring into the nation of Kenya. But the nation ignored the prophetic word. And that says the Lord to the nation of Kenya again. Repent then, turn to God, so that your sin may be forgiven. If you do Kenya, the kind of spiritual strength will come from the Lord. If we continue to ignore his word, we will continue to suffer as a nation. What God said, as we continue to ignore the word of God as a nation of Kenya, that was 2009, the sequences of not obeying the word of God, and not acting upon the prophetic word, the punishments were, they were from 2009, there was to be famine. And he showed me Kenya burning. And he told me there will be strange fires in the land. The Lord did spoke to us that missionaries were to be grouped, to be grouped and, uh, and great terror to the civilians. Last year we saw terror attacks. There will be a, a distress in our nation. A thing that we have never experienced ever before. And I went to the bishops and I told them. Two weeks after, oil started going up. bloodshed. This has been witnessed through murders, road accidents, terror attacks, clashes, and insecurity. Is Kenya under siege? Kenya is under siege. On 3rd October 2017, God showed me the map of Kenya. Inside it was written, Erin, 
trouble, earthquake, and terror attacks. According to the word of God in 2 Kings 24:33, signs of a nation under a siege are famine, extreme frustration, demonic attacks, deaths, murder, massacre, filthiness, and abomination, and brain games. Lord. What now is happening? <laughs> Famine has come even into our pocket. In 1 Chronicles 12, 32, the sons of Issachar understood the timing and the season and what Israel needed to do. And King David loved walking with them because it was easy to rule Israel. I would want to speak to the presidency. The office of the presidency in this nation has a mandate to call the entire nation into corporate repentance. I would want to speak to the, His Excellency, the President, the sitting President right now, that his desire to leave the great legacy in this nation, and it is biblical, because the Bible says that a good father leaves an inheritance for his children's children. And he's the one who is having a mandate of unifying the entire nation, like the book of Jonah, when the king had the judgment that God had released upon the nation, he called from the great to the small in the nation to do a corporate repentance. Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14 says if my people who are called by my name will hear my voice they hear my voice and they will turn to me and seek my face and pray I will heal their land well if you take that it means that if the land is sick and that sickness could be anything it could be economic sickness it could be relational sickness it could be politics uh, it, it could be agricultural sickness where the land is sick, it's not producing food. If my people hear my voice and they turn from their wickedness, okay, I will heal their land. The only remedy for us to receive the prosperity and the glory of God, it is to rededicate this nation back to God, reconcile this nation back to God and repent for us to receive the blessing.